Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah and I make lots and lots of plus size fashion videos. I also make lots of beauty videos, what's for dinner videos, just food related content. I'm starting a new series of like what's in my kid's school lunchbox video, you know, what I'm packing her for lunch. I'm also going to do my husband's if you guys are interested in that. I make um, like lifestyle, home decor, clean with me. All of that stuff, so if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and join us. We are so close to 10,000 guys, and I literally, I get emotional every single time I think about it. I cannot believe that 10,000 of you want to like see my face on a semi-regular basis and have just been so kind and so encouraging. I know in the grand scheme of YouTube, 10,000 is but a wee little ant, but for me, it is a huge goal that I really wanted to reach, and I am incredibly, incredibly thankful for all of you who have just supported me and subscribed and just been along this journey with me. It has been amazing, so thank you. Um, and if you haven't already, then I would love it if you subscribed. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you should. My Instagram name is Sarah England, and I post a lot of stuff like I do here. I post a lot of, like, clothes and fashion and home decor and my kids and my life and everything so if you like that i would love it if you subscribed no followed me so much social media lingo and hipness that i'm just not on that train but i would love it if you followed me on instagram a lot of you have recently come over here there from youtube and it just makes me so happy to see you guys and just interact in a different way and i don't know i don't know i love it so i feel like we've Instagram sometimes it feels like more real-time interactions. It feels like real life a lot more than I feel like in YouTube um, That could just be how I perceive things, but it just feels good when I can like see your life, too It's like a it's like a mutual sharing if that makes any sense Anyway, all right enough of that mumbo-jumbo. I have a couple of things to share with you I will leave the timestamp for when the actual haul starts But first couple things I want to share is because I know a bunch of you are gonna ask for my lip color You guys are always so kind and always ask what lip color I'm wearing um, and I'm going to share with the two that I've been wearing recently that I'm obsessed with and unfortunately it was in a like gift box, a special holiday gift box last year from Too Faced, um, which I shared on my like what I got for Christmas video and you guys have asked a lot recently. Um, the brownish like orange I've terracotta color I've been wearing all the time recently is the Too Faced Melted Matte and Pumpkin Spice. This thing is freaking amazing it is beautiful and the one i'm wearing today is cinnamon bear unfortunately um, these aren't available right now i thought the Too Faced would bring back the collection again this year and they brought back glosses which glosses are great but it's just these are amazing and this is like the best formula i'm so disappointed that i can't share that with you but i have found dupes recently with the one that i'm wearing right now i wore something incredibly similar on my wedding day and i thought i had it and i can't find it so that's kind of a bummer but it is the stila stale day liquid lipstick in fiery i believe um and it's just this beautiful like ox blood color i think this is so beautiful i love this color and now that it's fall i don't feel as weird wearing it out in public and then um for the pumpkin spice one which i've gotten so many questions about what lipstick i'm wearing it's the one i've been wearing in my past number of videos so if you've been wondering it's this one um and Brittany from coco channel um who's amazing you should subscribe to her and she um found a dupe as well for this one and it is the maybelline ink the liquid lipstick um ink ones and it is in globe trotter um so one it's way cheaper but two if you are really really looking for the pumpkin spice one oh, pumpkin spice one um, um, then check out the Maybelline ink and Globetrotter so you can have like a dupe or if you just want like a really beautiful terracotta -y liquid lipstick that's what I would recommend so thank you Brittany for giving sharing that tip because and that dupe because um, yes <laughs> all right and I want to do a little giveaway here on my channel so if you guys know recently um Astra sent me over some stuff and I did an Astra haul and as a thank you they sent me some extra clothes so I'm gonna give them away to you um they said I can keep them or give them a giveaway and I just want to give back because you guys are amazing so um they sent over two different sizes in this really really beautiful you know this is my color of all life okay rust 
oxblood, black, and mustard are like the colors that, and forest green. That's literally all I like. Um, but there's really cute little shorts. Now they're like flowy, um, silky woven shorts. I really like the, what is the word I'm looking for? Material, why did that take me so long? I think this is a really pretty transition piece. It is perfect for this time of year. I think this would look really pretty with like a cute little top tucked in or bodysuit. You can totally amp this up with some tights later on. Do people still wear tights and shorts? I love that look and I don't know if people still do that. So I should probably check that into that. But um, I like that look. So if you wanna wear that look, you go ahead too because I love it. Anyway, um, but they're really cute so they have a nice adjustable waistband. They're nice and flowy. And then they come with, and I'm just like taking it out. They come with this really cool belt and um, it has like little, what are they, why can I not think of what they're called right at this very moment? Little grommet things, what are they called? Anyway, but basically it's like a cool sash belt and then you tie it and they just look awesome. Um, I have a pair in a size, <laughs> what size is this? Okay, so I have a size extra large and a size 2X. If you're wondering based on sizes, I would go with the extra large for my size. I'm a size 16. Um, and if you are above me or you just like more flowy shorts, what have you, I have a 2X as well. So I'm giving both of those away. Um, so let me know below if you would like one of these. I mean, I know it's not anything crazy or anything too fancy, but they're fun and they're cute and they're really pretty. And I think they're like a fun like fall thing to kind of add to your uh, collection, especially since the weather's still been so gosh darn hot. You can still get so much use out of them. Um, but let me know below if you would like to win one of these. Like I said, I have two pairs. I've never worn them. They have their tags, everything on them. They just came like this and I now I'm just sharing them with you. Um, but let me know below if you would like the size extra large or the size 2X and how to get in contact with you, whether that's Instagram or that is email, please let me know. Leave all of your information below. Um, and another rule is please be subscribed and follow me on Instagram. Those are my two things. You don't have to like link friends or do anything crazy like that. Just be a subscriber and follow me on Instagram and let me know below what size you would like and how I get in contact with you. And that is it. So. I know it's not anything like a crazy giveaway, but thank you Astra for sending those over and I just wanna share them with you. All right, now in the actual haul, let's go. Um, we are going to do another Rose Gal haul. So when I was asking you guys for stores to do fall hauls from, you guys recommended either um, a Shein, Rose Gal, or Zaful haul. So they're all kind of very similar. They're all like Asian based stores um, that sell really cute, really like on trend clothing for really inexpensive. Um, I have done a haul for all three of those before on my channel, some of them multiple times. I really like them all. I've had really good luck with all of them. And recently I've noticed that Rose Gal and Shein and Zaffle have all really stepped up their game in quality. Um, I don't know if it's just now they're getting more popular so they have a lot more funding and the company is growing, but I feel like their clothes have just gotten better and better and better, which makes me so happy. And I love, I mean, you're already spending like next to nothing for items. So really you're getting what you're getting, you know, and you're spending on. But on top of that, now that their clothes are just stepping up and I, everything I got has been so nice. So I wanted to say that because I feel like it's kind of scary sometimes ordering because you never know what you're gonna get. Um, but recently with those three stores at least, I've seen such amazing things come out of them and paying for like so cheap. So um, I will leave everything linked below as well as a coupon code for you guys to use to get some money off of your order. This isn't sponsored. They did send me these clothes for free, but I am not affiliated with them. I don't get any money or anything like that. Um, okay, I think that's it. Let's get started. <laughs> The first item I'm going to share with you, normally with these um, stores, I have always gone up like one, two to three sizes um, because with a lot of Asian based companies, things run smaller and it has not always done me well. A lot of times everything has been way too big because I'll go up like two, three sizes. So recently I've noticed that a lot of the clothing has really gone to be true to size, which has been really nice. So I don't kind of have to guess how big or how small it runs. Um, so everything I ordered besides 
besides I think one or two items has only I only went up one size and even then it's been a little bit big so I would recommend staying true to size I think that that it's been like really good and a lot of times um, when you like will pick an item especially if it's popular there will be a lot of comments below from buyers who have reviewed it and have been like oh yeah it runs really small or it runs really big or it runs true size and this is how I feel about it and pictures included so definitely check it out because they do have a lot of reviews on their website under the items but the first item I'm gonna share with you is this bad boy now I've already worn it four times don't judge me it's kind of gross whatever it is what it is I'm just I'm just who I am okay if you get it you can do what you want anyway <laughs> So it's a little, it's a little dingy, but that just shows you how much I actually really love it. Um, it's this really cute, just black dress. Now these, like this style of dress is really popular right now. Um, and I was kind of worried because I didn't know how thin it would be and how like see-through it would be, but it is not. It is that like nice creepy fabric, but I can wear this with like polka dot pink undies and no one knows, you know? At least I hope no one knows and no one's told me. But I don't think anyone knows. Um, but, so I like how opaque it is and I just love the actual like cut of this dress. It Since it is that fabric, it doesn't cling to anything and it just flows over your shape. And it's so flattering, it's so comfortable, really cute. I think this is a perfect transitional piece because right now while it's still warm, you can totally get away with wearing this without like a jacket. But then during like the fall time, you can wear it with a jean jacket over the top, I think would look adorable or a cardigan. And then throw on some tights as it gets colder and booties, like I love it. I think it's super, super cute. I love like the cork wood type of buttons on it. I have nothing bad to say. I am obsessed with this. I've gotten so many compliments on it. Um, and this is in a 2X, a US 18. If you have been watching me for a long time, you guys know that I am a pretty true US 16. So this does have a little bit of wiggle room, um, but I like it. I probably wouldn't go down a size in this just because I like the extra space. Um, and because, you know, I like the extra space. I don't know. You guys sometimes will be like, you can go down like two sizes. And I'm like, but I like it. I just, I don't like tight clothes uh, full disclosure a lot of these items are the same color I didn't realize that until I got them and I was like I literally ordered this color but it's because it's beautiful so if you like oxblood kind of reddish burgundy maroon I gotcha and this next item is a stunner oh my gosh this is so figure flattering and it's so pretty now i don't know if like strappiness is like cool anymore or if like we're over that trend but i will wear it until i can't like i just love the way it looks i think it's so flattering it just looks cool and anyway so this has some like strappiness kg detail on it but it's also like really soft and beautiful and sweet and pretty um the fabric is that like really nice like soft jersey material that's just comfortable and stretchy um and then the bottom has this beautiful like floral lace applique and it's just so pretty and so stunning now the fact that this it, this goes pretty low the caging so i would recommend wearing a cami with it but you do you my friend like if you want to go all out you go all out um i probably will wear a cami just because that's how i feel comfortable i don't know anyway but I would wear, or like a pretty like off-white or like creamy white bralette with this would be so pretty underneath. That's like, anyway, I think this is so sexy. I feel like this would be good for like a nice fall date night, like going to the movies and dinner, nothing too fancy, like with some jeans and some booties. So cute. Um, and it has a nice stretch of this. I also want to share, I always talk about this, I am not pregnant, but I always like to share plus size fashion that can work for maternity wear because I know trying to find plus size maternity clothes is a nightmare and it's a pain and I hate it. So I think this would be awesome for maternity wear. Um, it's super, super stretchy and there's a nice kind of like ruching up at the front where your belly is so it can hide the bump really well or show off the bump. Whatever you want to do with the bump, I think this would work well with it and it's stunning. So I highly recommend in this this is a beaut I can't wait to wear that out um, I will say it's a tiny touch big I did get that in a 2x as well um, I feel like that's really true to size I probably would have sized down but I do think that it it, it works it works just fine all right this next item um, is beautiful that's all I gotta say but it is I wish I would have sized down and got true to size I definitely would get your true to size on this one because it runs 
I feel like a tiny bit big. Um, but it's this beautiful, once again, ox blood, I'm sorry. Um, like Grecian romantic, I don't know. I just love it, blouse. <laughs> Um, it just like flows down and kind of almost those like angular pointy um, sides and it is so pretty this is like another beautiful like date night outfit to me um, it has these like sleeves where this is the actual like sleeve strap that hangs over your shoulder and then these are like these beautiful Grecian romantic like sleeves that just cover the little extra chub chub right here which is really nice but also gives this beautiful like romantic vibe to it i think this is so pretty this is another thing that would work really well for maternity um it's stunning i don't have much else to say besides that i think it's stunning and that i would get true to size or go you know get your actual size because i do feel like this runs a bit big i did get this in a 2x for reference uh, but i think with some like black jeans or even some black leggings some regular denim jeans blue jeans whatever with some like black booties so pretty so pretty. More ox blood. Are you ready? All right. So I have wanted to make like the two piece little outfits work for so long, but I just feel like a weirdo in them. You guys let me know below how you feel. I just feel like I can't pull it off. I think this is a really cute outfit. I just feel like a dork. Um, but this is a two piece little set. Once again, that ox blood color. Um, this I like because although it has like this kind of almost like Hawaiian style print on it it still has that oxblood color so I feel like you can you can make it work you can make it work for a lot of seasons um this would totally make me think of something that I would have worn on my honeymoon we my husband and I got married coming up on our anniversary in November and we went on a mex uh we went on a Mexican cruise we went to a on, on a cruise to Mexico and I feel like this would have been perfect to wear because it's still like fall Thanksgiving colors but we're going to someplace tropical. This would have been so dang cute. But if you're also going on a vacation anytime soon during like the winter times, I know that um, I love taking like cruises during that time of year because it's cheap and it gets you away from cold if you're over that. Um, but this little number, it's just so cute. It's a two piece, but it's like this cute little crop top, which I've never worn. I just, I don't wear crop tops. You guys let me know how you feel. I tried to be, I tried to be risky and I feel naked, but it's cumbersome. I don't know. I'm just being a baby. Anyway, it comes with these long pants that they're nice and stretchy. The pants are actually really long. Like I would wear wedges with this outfit. Um, and I will say though, however, I sized up three sizes in this. This is in a four X, I believe. Um, yes, this is a 4X, so I, if you are going to order this, this is definitely something that you size up in. Um, I think I could have probably easily worn a 3X, but the 4X does fit, so if this is something that I would size up in, um, the material is kind of thin, um, but I feel like this would be look cute totally on, like, a cruise, like I said, or even, like, a freaking baby, bathing suit cover-up, or if you're not ready to let go of summer, this is for you. Like, I think this is really cute. I'm moving on to yet another ox blood color. Um, I'm sorry guys, I really didn't realize I ordered only this color, but it's okay because this is also very beautiful. I feel like I've covered all the bases of style at least, at least in my own head. Um, but this next thing is a cardigan. Now once again, I definitely would have sized down in this, but I still think it's totally workable. Um, and it's this beautiful color and <laughs> Um, it has like this really nice ribbing detail to it. It's nice and stretchy um, And there's just a bunch of really pretty like layered almost lace to it. So they have lace on the cuffs um, lace Going all the way down like the opening um, of the cardigan and then down the bottom You'll see it on the body in the trihon But I mean when can you not have a cardigan when do you not need one? It's perfect. This is such a good fall staple. It is so pretty I like this because it's lightweight sometimes when you wear you get like bulkier cardigans and you want to wear them with dresses It just adds too much bulk. This is nice and thin um, So it'll be really cute over dresses that you would were rocking in the summer, but you want to transition I just think this is really really cute really pretty like the color is just so nice and just like pops against your skin tone whether you're as casper as me or if you're a bit deeper i just think this is such a beautiful color and i really like this once again rose gal hitting it out of the park i'm like so excited so um i really like this one as well like i said at 2x i would get true to size on that one 
So the first time I ever ordered shoes. I am the last person to buy shoes for myself. I don't know why. I will buy 50 dresses before I buy a pair of shoes and I need shoes so badly. You guys were laughing and dying over my shoes last time, my witchy pilgrim <laughs> shoes. I ended up taking them back. So for those of you who voted taking them back, I did. For those of you who said you loved them, I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I just feel like I couldn't, I couldn't, they weren't me. You know what I'm saying? Although I'm like obsessed with Sabrina and I just finished the second series, although very dark, very dark, but still really great. And I just wanted to wear them and be cool, but I just couldn't. I just, I couldn't pull it off. Like I said, I'm more Lizzie McGuire than I am Sabrina Spellman, and Lizzie would wear those. Um, but I did order a pair of shoes from Rose Gal, and these were so freaking cute. I love this style of like, kind of like saddle-y type of shoes, um, that they're not quite booties, but they're not quite total flats. These are perfect transitional pieces as well, um, and I like them i feel like definitely the quality isn't a hundred percent amazing like i do feel like these will last maybe like a couple years these aren't like a long lasting pair of shoes however they're also super trendy so when things are like really on trend sometimes that style doesn't go on and on and on like the bell sleeves that were all the hit i feel like a couple years ago they're not super in this year um but so i definitely feel like these will get you through a couple of seasons but they aren't something that's gonna last you probably like 10 years or more or anything like that um but i do think that they are really cute they were comfortable for me to wear i do have to break them in, in a little bit more there isn't a whole lot of cushioning and padding you can add insoles into them but i did wear them to church and through like hanging out with my best friend and walking around on target and stuff like that um but that's all i gotta say about them i do really like them i think they're really cute but i don't know how long like how many years will last but they were also super cheap. So this last item is kind of a fail, but I feel like it's more my fault than anybody else's. Um, I mentioned Sabrina a couple of times in my last couple videos, but it's just because I'm obsessed with the show. It's definitely really dark and it, it's dark. So I'm, and gory, and it's definitely not for the faint of heart, nor most people, I feel like. It's, 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 it's a rough one, but it's just, it's, it's, it is what it is. I'm obsessed. Anyway, so, um, and that's a big reason why I've been wearing like these bold lip colors. I just, the makeup in this second season has just been so on it. I don't know. Anyway, I just finished this second season is all I'm saying. And I've been obsessed ever since. And the first season, Sabrina wore this like red, um, peacoat style jacket. And I wanted it so badly. I just loved it. And it, she wore it with like black and it just looked so good. And last year, actually, I found something similar on Rose Gal, but they were all sold out and i was disappointed but then this year they brought it back so i was really excited unfortunately again they sold out so fast so i was only to get my hands on the 3x and it's just way too big um i feel like if it was and for the style of jacket that it is it's kind of hard to disguise its width or bigness for lack of better words um i wonder if i could like pop a belt around the waist to try to make it work i don't know you guys let me know below but it in essence it's kind of like a poncho style um it's not fully long sleeved it kind of just like drapes over like that um and cinches in at the waist but it is a bit too big like i would have loved to see this on um i try this on on even like a 2x or my true size which is like a 1x it does have pockets but the pockets are like weirdly up here like i just feel like it'd be like you know <laughs> But, I can get my hand out of it, um, it's just cool, like it has this like almost velvety like touch to it. it. I love the actual fabric because although it kind of feels, felt is like the worst way to describe this because it makes it sound terrible. But it's like, it has like a stiffness to it so it holds its shape. So it's not like a cotton um, jersey type of like jacket, it has like a stiff, I don't know, it just makes it look super witchy. Or like in Hocus Pocus, when Allison is like walking away, um, it's like the beginning where she just went to uh, school and they're getting out or whatever and she's like, it's like the, my favorite scene in the whole entire movie is this one because it is so what I wish my falls look like. She's walking away and she's wearing like the cute little outfit and she's got her tights and her booties and then the boots have like the little sockies to them and then she's like putting on her jacket and it's this like perfect red she's walking away and there's kids like running across and there's leaves falling down there's a bunch of beautiful trees that are orange and there's like laughing in the background and then she just like puts on her hood 
and then she like walks away and looks super witchy and cool. Does anybody remember that scene? <laughs> I don't know why I have loved that scene my whole life. That has been my favorite scene. That and when Sarah Jessica Parker is singing her creepy pedo song that I loved as a child um, on her broomstick. Those are my two favorite scenes in that whole entire movie. And anyway, I wanted to be either Allison from Hocus Pocus or Sabrina or the mixture of both. And so this is this is my attempt at that. Um, let me know how you think I can make this work because I think it's so freaking cool and I want to be cool is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I want to put like a belt. I don't know. Guys, help me out. What do you think I can wear it with? Should I just wear it with black? Like a cool like black outfit and like pop it on and just be... You guys let me know. You guys have always been so helpful with <laughs> helping me figure out like outfits and stuff like that. So I would love it. But I mean, I could just sit here and pretend. I mean, or like Casper meets Wendy. It's another one. Red and witches have just been this like thing and it just looks so dang cool. <sighs> I'm such a dork. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that is it for this video. Um, like I said below, I will have everything linked if you're interested in any of these items. Please check out Rose Gal. I honestly was floored with everything that I got. I am so happy with it. Um, and if you've got, have you been wanting to take the plunge, go ahead and do it. I think it's amazing. I will say that they recently redesigned their website and they added an extra section called like curvy girl. And on that section is all plus size clothing, but it's more like fashion forward, super, super on trend, like fashion Nova type where it's like very bold, um, which isn't normally me. So I feel naked when I wear those types of clothes. So, but if you like that, like more.